Hi, I'm Brandon Randolph with Dan Cummins Chevrolet Buick. Today I'm going to show you how to use Apple CarPlay on your brand new Chevrolet. Now without wasting any more time, let's go check it out. Alright guys, we're back. The first step is to get our phone connected so we can use Apple CarPlay. And just as a heads up, Apple CarPlay only works with iPhone 5 and up. So what you'll do, on the left hand side there is a flap right down here. You lift it up and that's where your USB cable will go. Once you've plugged your USB into your USB port, you'll plug it into your iPhone. And you'll get a notification on here that I'll say Apple CarPlay. That means you're connected. So we'll hit Apple CarPlay and this should bring up the display for Apple CarPlay. You may get a notification on your phone that says allow CarPlay with my link while phone is locked. For now we'll hit allow. So now that we have that set up we can browse more options. So now that we're connected and synced up you can tell that your dashboard sort of looks like an iPhone. With this, you can send text messages with just one click. Who would you like to text? Allison. What do you want to say to Allison? Hey, we're checking out the 2016 Cruise and Apple CarPlay. Your message is, hey, we're checking out the 2016 Cruise and Apple CarPlay. Ready to send it? Send. Done. And just like that, they've got their text message. All right, let's go back to our home screen. So it looks like our friend Allison just texted us back. So being responsible adults on the road, we're not gonna look down at our phones, right? Right. So what you gotta do is hit the messages button, would you like me to read your messages or compose them in one? Unread messages. Allison said, awesome sounds cool. Would you like to reply? No, thank you. Okay. Now let's go back to the home screen. We also have Apple Maps, which is a convenient little feature to use your maps and maybe use previously stored addresses that you would like to get to. We also have our music tab. You can hit it and whatever you're previously listened to pops right up or you can go back and listen to whatever's on your iPod. Now once again, let's go back to the home screen. You also have your phone app where you can do hands-free dialing with just the touch of a button and speaking the name of your contact. Who are we calling? Now we're not going to call anybody, but here you have your favorites, your recents, your contacts, your keypad, and even your voicemail, which will be read back to you. Now let's go back. Depending on what apps you have, you may have Spotify, you may have Pandora, they'll both show up here. But for me, I have Spotify and I'll let you see that. You press it, and once again, rather than looking at your phone and scrolling through, you can click whatever you like. All your categories show up, and I'll let you play with that a little more and go into more detail by yourself. All right, now let's go back to home. You have three other categories to choose from. Audiobooks, if you're an audiobooks person, your books will show up right here. All right, let's go back home. Your podcast will show up here, laid out for you. And here's your now playing button, which will play you what you've just recently been playing. And we'll go back home. Alright guys, that about wraps it up, and thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a like. If you liked it enough, subscribe to us. We're always looking for more subscribers. And if you have any questions, comment below, and we'll be sure to answer them. Alright, thanks guys.